Hello YouTube friends and fans. Today we're going to work on this ladder. Got some bolts that are rusted, but that's not the real reason. The bottom come loose. I'll take you in, I'll show you, and show you the full repair. Stick around. KZ Creations thanks you for watching. Please press the red subscribe button for more featured videos in the future. Now on with the show. So as you can see, those are well rusted. I don't even know if those were supposed to be what's on there. Let's take them out change them the real reason we're taking them out so I got leverage for the bottom so I have to repair the ladder and currently have top screws out here but not the last third section uh, waiting on parts for that didn't know what I needed until I took it apart So this is what the rivet looks like That's on the RV. I lost the footage But basically you take the pliers here And you can cut this housing area here and it's just a thin piece of aluminum. It'll break Best to cut it on the end of the rib there. You can pull an end of that and it will. And then you can push that through on the back side. Just got to make sure you got all your pieces kind of stood up. So this is how badly the holder to the ladder was rusted. I cut that off you can't get it off and the bolt head was attached through here which was riveted on the RV here's the bracket off the RV ladder that holds the foot on I need the bolt to go in the back but it's got to sit pretty flush got my dad's old parts cabinet it's got all kinds of nuts and bolts hey I think that'll work Perfect. Well, two of them. Good to go. Next, we got to put a little butyl tape on the back. A pair of scissors here. We'll cut it. take a uh, razor blade or something trim the excess off punch a hole this little guy we will stall in the RV and repeat so, taking off this putty when I put the new on it'll have a nice place to sit try not to scratch RV. just a quick promotional deal here link below for pliers walking clamp or auto adjust very handy very nice to have and this also requires quarter inch rivet gun Leave the links below. Now, had to buy this extra. This whole project might have been cheaper if I took it to a dealer, but I doubt it. Alrighty, so hopefully you can see these real well here. Probably see them better on top of that white package and background. Those are the inserts for the ladder tubing. Aluminum rivets. They were $1.60 a piece. And they expand out. That's why they're the price they are and plus the length and when I get them onto the RV they'll look very similar to that on the back side and that's what you'll see on the front side that's the right uh, 
think it's got to go the other way though, because that'll pull off. Probably leave it about that far out. And our special rivets here. They're a nice dollar fifty each from Amazon. Seem to work, right? Yeah. It's easier on that other one, didn't it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing differently. That was too easy. One and a little, but I think you need, like you said, something on the back side. You end up jerking the. Oh, break the fiberglass. Yes. That one's not in past that first piece, and this one seemed like it came back out. Got a board behind it. It makes all the difference. There it went. Take the old rusty bolts out, put new ones in. Last set of bolts going in. Pretty sturdy. Well, friends, thanks for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope it'll be helpful to you. If you're interested in the rivets, or the little grommet that goes in here. Give me a holler, I have them extra. I'll ship them to you. Uh, just charge you the shipping cost and what I've got in them. That way you ain't gotta be out the big money like I am. All right, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video. Hope you like, subscribe, take care now. And may all your projects be successful.
cut like I wanted it to. No. Just maybe with a hacksaw. Good thing you got safety glasses on.